Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another learning video. In this video, we are going to learn about retesting and 95% confidence interval limit. These two terms are used during the OS investigation. And if you are working in QA or QC, then this video is for you only. So let us get started without any further delay. So it was August 2018 when MHRA OS guideline first time brought the concept of statistical evaluation of retesting data during the OS investigation. As you may already know that the statistical evaluation of retesting data is not given in the US FDA OS guideline which was published in October 2006. There are few key points related to retesting which you should always keep in mind and let us see what are those. Well, retesting is always done by the second qualified analyst. Before proceeding for the retesting, it should be approved by quality assurance. Retesting can be done in any of the phase during OS investigation. Retesting is always done with the existing available sample quantity. What if in case sample quantity is not sufficient then resampled quantity is used for the retesting. Most of the pharma companies follow either 3 preparations or 5 preparations during the retesting. And the number of preparations is decided based on the analytical method validation data and the criticality of the analytical technique. As a rule of thumb, average of retesting result is reported on the final COA. Before that, all the individual results are evaluated statistically using 95% confidence interval limit. So now the question arises, what is 95% confidence interval limit and how it is calculated? So let us see what is 95% confidence interval limit. Well, 95% confidence interval limit tells about the variability among the obtained results and it can be calculated with the help of this formula. So 95% confidence interval limit equal to sample mean plus minus T95% into standard deviation divided by square root of N. So these are the four components in this formula and let us see the meaning of each component. Sample mean. Here we will take the average of the results. T95 percent. It is a fixed value and it can be taken from this table. For example, if we are using three sample preparations, then T95 percent will be taken as 4.30. Likewise, if we are taking five preparations during retesting, then T95 percent will be 2.78. Now comes the standard deviation. This value can be calculated with the help of Excel or you can use Google as well to calculate the standard deviation for all these five preparations or the three preparations based on your retesting that how many preparations you are using for the retesting. And here one important point you have to keep in mind that don't get confused between the related standard deviation and the standard deviation. These are two different terms and we have to use only standard deviation during our 95% confidence interval limit calculation. Last component is the square root of the n. So here n indicates the number of the samples which we are preparing during the retesting. So it can be either 3 or it can be 5. So accordingly we will take the square root of the whatever the number we are uh, considering for the retesting. So this is all about the formula of the 95% confidence interval limit. So let us understand this formula with the help of few practical examples. We will understand 95% confidence interval limit with the help of two examples, assay test and RS test. So let us begin with the assay test first. Suppose OOS result obtained in the assay test and after investigation assignable cause is identified and retesting is proposed with five preparations. So retesting was done by the second qualified analyst and we got five assay results. And these are the 5 assay results, 98, 97, 99, 101 and 100%. Specification limit is 95 to 105%. Now we have to calculate and check whether all these results are meeting the 95% confidence interval limit or not. For that, we need to calculate the 95% confidence interval limit with the help of this formula. Here, mean is equal to 99 and T95% for the 5 preparations will be equal to 2.78. Standard deviation will be equal to 1.4142. You can calculate standard deviation using Excel or Google. N is equal to 5 and the square root of N which is 5 equal to 2.236. 
After solving this portion of this calculation, you will get the value one point seven five eight. Now, first we will add one point seven five eight to the mean value ninety nine, and we will get hundred point seven five eight. Or we can write this value as one out one after rounding off. Now we will subtract one point seven five eight from the ninety nine, which is the mean value, and it will be equal to ninety seven point two four two. we can write this value as 97 after rounding off now 97 to 1 or 1 will be our 95% confidence interval limit now let us see whether all the individual essay results are meeting this limit or not so here you can see that all the values all these five essay values are between 97 to 1 or 1 this means 95% confidence interval is meeting for all these essay results So this was all about the essay test. Now we will see the RS test. Let us suppose there was an OS in RS test for the impurity X Y Z. After investigation, root cause was identified and retesting was proposed with three preparations. So after retesting, results of the three preparations are zero point two three, zero point three two, and zero point two nine percent. And the specification limit for the impurity X Y Z is not more than zero point five zero percent. Now we have to calculate and check whether all the three results of the impurity are meeting the ninety-five percent confidence interval limit or not. For that, let us calculate the ninety-five percent confidence interval limit using this formula. Here, mean equal to zero point two eight, and t ninety-five percent for the three preparations will be equal to four point three zero. Standard deviation is equal to zero point three seven four, and the n is equal to three. And the square root of the n will be equal to one point seven three two. So after calculating this part of the calculation, you will get the value zero point zero nine two. Now, first of all, we will add zero point zero nine two to the mean value zero point two eight, and this will be equal to zero point three seven two, which we can write as zero point three seven after rounding off. Similarly, we will subtract. 0.092 from the mean value 0.28 and it will be equal to 0.188 and we can write this value as 0.19 after rounding off so now our 95% confidence interval limit will be 0.19 to 0.37 so let us see whether all the individual results are between these 0.19 to 0.37 or not So here you can see that all the individual results are between zero point one nine to three seven, which means ninety five percent confidence interval limit is meeting the criteria for these three individual results. So this was all about the RS test. Now the question arises: What to do if any of the result is not meeting the ninety five percent confidence interval limit? So answer to this question is that if if in case. Ninety-five percent confidence interval is not meeting for any of the result. In that case, QA head will evaluate the obtained results and he will give the further decision. So this was all about the retesting and ninety-five percent confidence interval limit. Hope you have learned something new today. Bye bye and happy learning.